Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Behind me here is a VNC session. I'm connected to my Mac Mini, and the Mac Mini is what controls the live stream at live.perillo.com. The camera, uh, which many people are watching me live, as a matter of fact, we have 396 people, 397 watching me live right now, and those aren't duplicated IP addresses. They are unique uh, IP addresses, which means, wow, that's quite a few people who are staying up at, uh, well, 8.15 on a Sunday night to watch me talk about technology. And now, if you'd like to join us anytime, day or night, uh, we're at live.perillo.com. What I'm going to illustrate for you now is an open source program that I have installed on this Mac, and you can see the VNC window as I'm dragging uh, one window around should be moving back and forth. I'm going to minimize this window here, so then you'll see it disappear behind me. Um, I installed a program called Telekinesis. It's open source, and Telekinesis allows you to access, browse, and generally do things on your Mac from your iPhone. It's open source, which means it's absolutely free. You can find Telekinesis at code.google. Dot com. I had heard about it a, a while ago, but never really got around to installing it because I thought it was a hack. It's not a hack. In fact, I can access everything through a web browser, through a secure session in the web browser. It won't work any other way. And with Telekinesis installed on my computer, accessing it again through the iPhone, I can open launch applications. I can take a live screen capture of whatever happens to be happening on my screen. In fact, it's like VNC. Uh, I can see whatever my camera sees. I can press the camera button and get a shot of that, and I'll illustrate that in a second. I can open documents, files. That means listening to, to music that I might have on my Mac. I can use a remote control to control iTunes. Uh, I can run scripts. I can do spotlight searches, and I can access the terminal remotely, securely, through this, my iPhone. Amazing. It, you won't believe how amazing it is in, until I illustrate it here. Uh, what we're going to do, I've got here behind me uh, my, again, this is the Mac uh, through VNC. We're going to open up a list of the applications on my computer. And I'm going to come closer for this. So you may not be able to hear me as well, but what I'm going to show you here is a listing of all the files. Oh, that was my bookmarks there. Sorry about that. Listing of all the files on my Computer. These are my in my applications directory. Let's open up the dictionary by pre pressing the launch button. And behind me, da -da -da -da, look at that. That's the dictionary application that launched. So let's close that. And let's open up another application here. Again, using telekinesis, open source. Uh, let's see here. There's Firefox, but I already have that open. How about Comic Life? I love Comic Life. All right, let's launch Comic Life. That allows you to, to make comics out of your favorite pictures. Oh, look at that. There's a splash screen for Comic Life. Just came up there. Comic Life, ready to go. I love Comic Life from Plask.com, P-L-A-S-Q.com. They also make Skitch. Uh, so that's just launching applications. Let's do some other fun stuff. Like, uh, well, let's show you a live camera. So when I press the camera button, what it will do this will open up a new browser tab inside of my iPhone and take a live picture of whatever happens to be on my camera. Well, I'm connected, my, the camera that I have connected to this Mac right now happens to be the one that I'm also using to stream at live.perillo.com. So, it just took this snapshot a couple of seconds ago. Let's uh, go back and hit refresh. Give it a couple seconds because, of course, it's got to it's got to take the shot and everything. Let's let's turn it on its side here. Look at that. That was just a couple seconds ago. Now you see. Oops. Oh, I'm sorry. Apparently, there's an update for Comic Life here. You're, I'm blocking some of chat. See, that just proves. I, I'm not kidding, folks. I'm I'm halfway away. Okay, so let's uh, let's hit refresh. Let's let's make a funny face. Oh, I get, I get, uh, okay, let's try the funny face again. <laughs> well, that was almost, I, I think I took it a little too late there. But see, you see what I'm talking about, folks? It works. It works like a charm. Please cap that. Oh, great. Great. 
so what else can you do? Here, let me let me go back and show you the icons on the screen. Well, at least as I see them. This is the, the actual application itself as it loads inside the web browser. Again, there's really nothing to install on the iPhone. This is nothing more than a web page. And that's what I like about it. it doesn't, there's no hacks involved. It's easy to, to set up, easy to use. And most importantly, now I can control my Mac remotely. Uh, now, if you're going to uh, allow anybody to access this uh, from any internet connection, you're going to have to open up a port either on your computer or your router. Just try to keep it as secure as possible. Uh, there is authentication um, inside. Not only do you need to know the IP address, but also a username and a password in order to get in. So they have added a, a few levels of security to the application so that uh, they keep people protected from themselves. Uh, again, the name of the application is called Telekinesis. It's an iPhone remote and I am impressed. It doesn't cost you a thing, nothing to, nothing really to do except for install it and set it up and uh, most geeks should be able to pull it off. And if you have an iPhone, you want to have telekinesis because chances are you have a Mac. And if you don't have a Mac, you, well, you probably want a Mac now, don't you? Unfortunately, your Mac might not come with a, a little Chris Perillo Locker Gnome logo on it. That's, that's a, it's not really a hack, it's more like masking tape and an old mouse pad that I had. Anyway, if you know of any other cool applications that uh, don't require any kind of hacking, either for the Mac, for an iPhone, or for Windows, uh, whatever, let me know. Uh, my email address is chris at perillo.com. And, of course, you're also welcome to join us in our chat room where we're typically talking about well, technology, software, hardware. Some sometimes people talk about games. We talk about Internet stuff. Hey, you never know what we're going uh, to do, what we're going to be talking about. And as I said before, we have... Oh, now we have 415 people watching us live. And how many people are in chat right now? I suppose uh, probably a, a, a little less than that, because uh, more people actually watch than participate. But 349 in chat ain't that bad at all. So why don't you join us? What are you waiting for? An invitation? Okay, you're invited. It's free. Just come by, as long as you're a nice person. We're open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.